Hello friends, welcome to my Royal Family News Channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. But where is Archie, Meghan? Caught up in the whirlwind, Harry and Meghan still could not believe it as some died they had to keep on going with fake kid stories, especially bringing people from afar of their kids. Surely we shall the way they tackle these issues. Oh, and Harry is really not getting a great run right now, he cannot get his own way in Colombia either these days with Meghan. You may have seen the edited images, and everything that came afterward, as well as silent videos in response to further prevent feedback. Of course, given that it is lip readers all around the world have been making sure we see things as they really are. Their relationship has bad moments, as we mentioned. Or, of course, the hand Meghan wanted from him upon entering public life. Harry has neglected to follow the script and toe the line, sick, in a way Meghan seemingly never fails to. And that brings us to the rule, which is when you're a public figure, whether or not and for whatever reason, Benefer, until very recently, adhered to it right on script with their split just days ago. Harry you need to get yourself in shape because there is a bigger problem and particularly during that Colombian episode. You know the one, where they brought in a full load of kids and Harry controversially accepted his role officially on as big name power player, the world has long bowled from League One snail munching nonsense. However, it all went south after that. They are showing here and now everything is going fairly well for Hamilton, which isn't too bad considering the times in such a way. But there is no point in mincing words, the train wreck was the PR disaster that was Harry and Meghan on tour of Columbia. Things only go further downhill from here, and nothing to do with the loss of their chief of staff that was definitely significant in my opinion. He had no impact, it is arguable that he was around long enough to do so anyway. Things begin to get a little bit more complex here, as they frequently do. You know like when they wheeled in all those schoolchildren, etc.? One of the children famously fake courtesied on live TV now I say it once more, someone told to the child. They knew it was a prime time for PR. Don't you think? Perhaps she finally found someone to curtsy to her as well, not that Meghan had the decency or grace of giving a respectful courtesy, even less among senior members O.D. the British royal family which were none other than soon-to-be family member, respectively. It's like Meghan operates in duality or something. However, this is where it becomes more intricate, Franny Marquez truly thought that Harry and Meghan were bringing Jamie at the very least, especially Archie since she knew there was a fought call coming up with children from school and would have been great for her. The line will also have been given to Harry and Meghan, this is a great opportunity. A groundbreaking fake royal visit, Prince Archie on the road with false royals, opening at a 4D theater near you soon. I had a hunch from the start that there would not be any kids. There is no way in hell royals like Meghan and Harry were allowing their children to play outside, much less out of the country. I question whether or not to breed at all. This idea does seem outrageous and absurd, but one delights in them even. Do you agree with me? If so, comment number one. If not, comment number two. Share your thoughts. As expected, it would transpire they had never existed and Archie wasn't with them. Franny Marquez apparently wasn't told anything about what transpired or why it happened. Here is when this unfortunate situation happened, apparently they muted the sound like they did it before. A lot of the children were saying where's Archie? By the time their stay played out, Archie's absence became mortifying. They had been advised by their government, party or some other source that Archie would be there. It did not help that the children thought they were going to meet a world-famous soccer player. They had an opportunity to meet people their age or in the same boat, and that door was closed on them. With the usual, Megan flaunted up her children for some coins most especially in Netflix then took them back. What would have been a huge PR moment was relegated to one daughter in passing. Princess and amusingly describes how her three-day-old daughter Lily, pronounced as the way Lilibet is spelt and shortly abbreviated to just Lily during this chat in Spanish, has now developed an opinion of everything, while talking with Haveno fears Don Irica. 
but what she wrote because then leaves us wondering, how could a girl that young possibly have more to say on anything? But in the whirlwind of a life they live as Sussexes, it always remains positive, even more so now. I, for one, hope Meghan is aiming to divorce Harry once he reaches 40 and actually gets his hands on every penny of that inheritance. There better be a waterproof prenup in place, isolating that inheritance from any divorce settlement. Even if the inheritance is as low as 8 million, that would buy Meghan very little time. In reality I have my doubts he will see it for a long time, as princess and would be in charge of the funds and has power over when slash if Harry receives his inheritance. Perhaps not at 40. In the event princess and thinks Harry continues to be too immature for any kind of responsibility, she could push that back again until he's 45. The idea of a marriage deal, for anyone, even royals, is somewhat unnerving and just sounds plain silly. Harry and Meghan are not that good at lying to the public, but they have been a little weird. Furthermore, some may have thought that if its owners try to keep their children out of the public light can understandable and therefore, because people believed these two were not around. Others suggest that the kids are being exploited to defame King Charles. Meghan continuously lying is also a big cause for concern, not least when you consider how she idiotically said at mental health event with Prince William and Princess Catherine that women do not need to find their voice. They actually have a voice. They simply need the desire and ability to use it. How did three-year-old Betty find her voice? What is Megan talking about? It always feels like a roller coaster of words. Sadly, these individuals exploit underprivileged Colombian children for photo opportunities and self grandiosity. We aren't interested in Megan's autograph, we want DNA tests for the children and a polygraph for her. I can only imagine the backlash in Britain and the United States if Princess Catherine were to keep her children away from the public eye. What a ludicrous idea! Meghan's spin suggests that Harry and Meghan's children are insignificant. They might be hidden, but no one really cares, except for the couple's attempt to make them appear mysterious for more fame. Most of us aren't concerned about seeing the children, we just want proof that they're truly their children. It's especially odd that these children even knew who Archie was when they didn't recognize Meghan and Harry or understand why they were in their country. The level of self-deception here is astounding. While they protect their children from the spotlight, they exploit other children, both living and dead, for publicity. It's hypocrisy at its finest. Meghan doesn't seem to be a hands-on mother like the late Princess of Wales. We rarely see her with her children, which leads me to wonder if she's embarrassed, feels like a failure as a mother, or perhaps something more concerning. Thank goodness they don't seem to exist, at least not as their offspring. Hopefully, they are being cared for by responsible adult guardians. Charles, it's time to request those DNA tests. And if they do indeed exist, I had hoped they were being raised by caregivers rather than Doria. Let's hope Archie begins school this year. It's crucial for a rational individual to keep a watchful eye on him. It's quite peculiar how they handle matters concerning their children, assuming such children even exist. Most parents are occasionally seen out and about with their children. Even Jennifer Lopez has been spotted with her little ones in public, despite not being a hands-on mom. Something doesn't seem quite right about this situation, and it's baffling why the royal family would entertain it. If these claims are true, it is certainly odd, especially for a narcissist like Meghan. If she did have children, she would likely be selling photos to the highest bidder sooner rather than later especially since her popularity is waning. I wonder if Harry will have the courage to divorce her and reveal the truth. It's time for the speculation about these invisible children to be debunked. Meghan's actions, such as using Eugenie's child as a stand-in for Archie, indicate her desperation. One can only imagine her reaction when the children inquired, Where's Archie? Where's his father? That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video. If you haven't done so yet if you want to be first to be informed about my content, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me, 
Take care of yourself and stay healthy. I'll see you in the next one.